Welcome to our one hour review. This week we're reviewing the NewTek PTZ3. We're not gonna bore you with a long unboxing, similar to previous packaging, although this one comes with a mini XLR to XLR adapter, a remote, a wall mount, along with an AC adapter. We're gonna connect it with power over ethernet and take advantage of NewTek's NDI HX. We could have chosen SDI or HDMI. There's also a USB-C and RS-232 connector on the back. We really liked the way this one worked. We simply had to choose inputs in our TriCaster and it showed up and it was ready to go. Very clean integration. This is about 10 minutes in. We are able to get the camera working. We took it outside. Great PTZ controls right off the deck of the TriCaster Elite and we have the large control surface, but it worked seamlessly right out of the box. No configuration, we did add a password. We could have set our presets and our TriCaster. We also connected it to Livestream Studio, which has a unique way to move PTZ cameras, but again, right out of the box, no configuration, it worked. 30 minutes into our unboxing, we took it outside, we took some video with it. It worked well outside in the sunlight, and what we were really impressed with was the zoom, and the PTZ pan was awesome. Indoors, even better. Again, these are default settings, we didn't go in and correct any of the color. In the web interface, all the settings you could imagine for color correction, frame rate, speed, you can even do HEVC, which is impressive. All in all, we thought this was a great device. In one hour, we were able to get it out, use it. We're planning on using two of these in our studio this year. Kudos to New Tech. We like it. It's the PTZ3 by New Tech, just out in the spring of 2022.